Here I'm going to show how we scan a new workpiece. Really simple operation. We've got a downward facing camera. We're looking for the tape, so we're basically just running this over our workpiece. Run it around. Press finish. Saving. What's happening here is it's stitching together all the images that we that the camera just took, and it builds it into a big composite map of the workpiece. It's really similar to how a uh, if you're kind of taking a panoramic photo and stitching together images, to make a make a big photo. That's what we just done, but we've recreated the workpiece on our display. Place files. We can either you can either load files on the. Uh, uh, USB, or have a USB in the side, or we, the, the unit itself is Wi-Fi and cloud connected, so you can load files uh, wirelessly onto the tool. For this demo, I'm going to grab just a, uh, a butterfly joint that we have. Uh, the, the joint that we've made, we've already made the positive of, or the, the core. I'm using the exact same file that I used to cut this. In this cut, I use an external cut to cut the profile shape. Here I'm going to place this and I'll just, you can see I'm moving this around. I can place it wherever I want in any orientation. I can even you know, rotate, say, say I wanted to take this feature out. Okay, now I'll place. I'll zoom back out to show you that I've now locked this file, this digital file, onto the workpiece. So when I move away, it stays over here. And then I can come back and do an operation on it. So, now that we have a file, we need to make a couple quick decisions about what we want to do with it. We're really focused on making, uh, taking a lot of the really difficult steps out of setup and kind of uh, all the file prep and everything that's normally required with CNC and making it as easy and accessible as possible. So instead of uh, having to do a lot of complex CAD, CAD or CAM operations, we can do everything directly on the tool. So we've, looked, we've established, uh, we can establish our cutter size. In this case, it's loaded in a quarter inch cutter. Uh, I can also change it to an eighth inch, whatever I want it to be. Set the bit size. They asked me to remember to touch off the bit. I'm going to look down here. I'm going to be doing a zeroing operation where I just say, okay, touch off. It's identified and understood where the zero point of the work surface is. And now, remember I, I said that I just used this, or I used this previously to cut the outside shape. Now I can simply come back in to the same file. I can choose path type and I can change that to an inside shape. There's also some other ones and we can talk about those in a minute. That type, you'll notice that the cutting path just moved to the inside and it automatically does the offset to accommodate for the, for the quarter inch cutter. Okay, with that I'm ready to cut, so I'll just dive in. So I'm going to put on my safety glasses, I'm going to turn on the router. got my cut depth set to a quarter inch. The only thing you really need to know is that I'm operating the big circle. As long as that big circle is anywhere on this line, the router itself will compensate to make the cut. And now plunged into the wood. It's asking me to go so I have a conventional cut. down the auto button in the, on my right thumb. If I hold down the auto button, it will auto complete anything within the corrective range. Yeah, great. So clean up the edges a little bit. 
So of course, if we since we used the same file and we just did an inside cut and then or sorry an outside cut and then an inside cut. Of course, if we use this exact shape and tried to put it in, we wouldn't be very successful because we'd have an interference fit. So what I'd like to demonstrate is the repeatability of being able to make the cuts and also a nice feature that we have of just being able to shave off a little bit of material. You can keep working up to your final finish all day long, no problem. So we're just going to do a little bit of an offset. Here we'll choose to take off maybe 15 thousandths an inch. It actually moves the cutting path just marginally. And then we'll go back in and clean that up.